Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Today we'll look at a story from Jeremiah Johnson, so let's jump right in. If you aren't familiar with Jeremiah Johnson, he's just one of the many false Trump prophets and has been on the Sid Roth show with other false prophets like Tracy Cook and Hank Cunneman. He's written several books on Trump, but also had to make posts admitting he was wrong. And we know what scripture says about false prophets. Don't listen to them. Here's just one of his products on the Sid Roth Show. God is raising up a new breed of prophets. Jeremiah Johnson wants to share how you can be a part of this new prophetic generation. Begin to carry new powerful levels of the glory and anointing that the church has never experienced before. Yeah, I don't want to be walking around at work knocking people to the ground. And the fact is that prophecy is just one of the many gifts given by God and you cannot learn how to prophesy or buy his package to learn this. The next clip comes from the Facebook page Famine in the Land. This is Jeremiah Johnson talking about the second time Jesus came to him. It's only a few minutes long so we'll look at it all in context and comment at the end. Jesus Christ came into my bedroom and he came and he put his finger right in my chest. And he said to me, I don't know about apostles, prophets, teachers, pastors, and evangelists, but I have called you as an end time messenger to prepare my bride to meet the bridegroom. Now, just for the sake of questions, I don't believe Jesus was questioning fivefold ministry. He was addressing a personal pursuit that I had been on for many years trying to figure out which one of the five I was. And he was saying to me, none of that matters right here, right now. I'm marking you. I'm stamping you for eternity. It was the second time that he came to me. The first time was in 2010. We're talking about the fairest of 10,000. We're talking about the most beautiful man that has ever lived and that will ever live. There's a transformative presence that's around him that changes everything. And in this encounter, he said to me, Jeremiah, many know the lamb that went to Calvary but few know the lion who is returning to devour his father's enemies. Many know the lamb who went to Calvary, but few know the lion who is returning to devour his father's enemies. He began to ask me if he could entrust me with this message and with this mandate, I was later interviewed on a radio station. They said, Jeremiah, you preach a lot about the fear of the Lord. Can you give us a definition? And it's out of my personal encounters with Him that I would just simply define the fear of the Lord as this. Beauty that makes you tremble. There's an experiential beauty, a total other than in His presence that causes us to bend and tremble because we're in the presence of the Son of God, the One who created heaven and earth. There's a realm of encounter that I believe God wants to release to His bride in this hour where there is a depth of love and relationship honor and reverence that will literally stun the world around us, especially religion, and God is going to raise up a lovesick bride in the earth that has locked eyes with a bridegroom king. We know in Acts 1 that the apostles are told that the next time we see Jesus will be as he left, and that is in the clouds and that every eye will see him. He's not coming back for personal face-to-face -face meetings with special people and he's certainly not giving them false prophecies or telling them to write books and charge money to learn spiritual gifts. 
These are the people we're warned about in scripture and we would be best to avoid them and their products and focus on the word of God. As always, leave your thoughts and comments below and until next time, take care and God bless.